Welcome to the Smart Food Show, where we promote the consumption of smart foods, which are good for you because they are highly nutritious and they target the highest malnutrition problems. They're also good for the planet, for they are water efficient and grow in drought prone areas. They're good for the farmer too, for they have market potential and are critical for improving incomes of smallholder farmers in the dry lands. All right, what are the participants up to? Find out next. We have tomatoes, so I don't think this week we need tomatoes. Yeah, we need lemon. Like this one? Yeah, like this one. Personally, I didn't really feel like uh, I wasn't in so much pressure per se because uh, it's something that I do, you know, on a day to day basis. I go to the market, I shop for ingredients. It's something that I do every day. So it was not uh, like a strange thing to me. I loved it. I love to go to the market and get fresh produce. I was there with my friends, so it was not boring. I like to go to the market, so I didn't mind. We got, uh, we got very good products for the show. Welcome to Smart Food. And welcome to Smart Food, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the auditions and thank you for being here today. Contestants in front of you are superfoods that you must use. Cow peas, peanuts and pearl millet. You should creatively make a starter and a main course dish in 60 minutes. And I think I'll stop talking and let you start. At some point, um, it's tricky provided uh, some of the ingredients that have been provided because uh, they are not that much available in Kenya, but uh, they, they were a bit nice and uh, at least I took the challenge and worked with what was available. Your water is, your water is over boiling, your water is over boiling. Ladies, did you know that cow peas are great to include in your meals during pregnancy? Well, it contains folate, or what we call vitamin B9. This vitamin helps us in the prevention of defects of the spinal cord and is good for the brain development. Very important for the baby. All right then, let's get back in the kitchen. Are you going to use your cheese? Yes. The cucumbers can still work. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was telling you to remove. Hurry up guys, you have five minutes. There's no time to chat over here, okay? okay. But you're done. Yeah, you're done, but your dishes, you still have a whole lot of dishes over here. <laughs> With five minutes left, speed is their savior. Welcome back. Hey mums, per minute is also great to include in your meals during pregnancy since it is high in all the micronutrients needed like iron and the zinc and the folic acid. It is also a key ingredient in children's complementary diets. We are still cooking and let's find out whether we have anything ready. Mm -hmm. 
You do know those are cucumbers? Yeah. You know those are cucumbers? Yeah, we put the cucumbers. Tongs. Don't use the spoon or that, that palette knife you're using. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, my team members are awesome. Though I don't really know them as, as far this point. But maybe when we start cooking, the cat might come out of the bag. Four minutes. We, we were aware that we were being timed, uh, but time runs. Time goes. Time goes so fast you don't realize until uh, the chef says uh, you have 15 minutes to go, and then you haven't plated, you haven't had your dessert ready, or you don't have your garnish ready. So, yeah, the timing was a bit. It wakes you up. Remember, clear what station. 90 seconds, 5 seconds, oh my god, oh my god, guys. Now, if you want to maintain your weight without much struggle, then you are watching the right show because peanuts are very filling and can reduce the chances of unnecessary eating. That would result in weight gain. But don't take excessively because they are high in calories. Well, I'm told that our food is now ready. Come with me. One and we are done. Woo! Okay, everybody. Stop, stop where you are. Just stop. Don't touch anything. Don't move. Don't even breathe. Good job, good job. We can see, we can smell some good things. We can see some good things, right? Super, well done. It's time for our judges, Bill Ha, who's an administrator at the Strathmore Centre for Tourism and Hospitality, Chef Francis and Chef Faisal, both from the Sankara Hotel, to taste and later give their views. Welcome. So what do you have for us? We have a granite, cow piece and assorted vegetables soup. Can we see your main? Yes. For the main course, yes. we have gali millet, uh -huh. uh, cooked with milk, served with um, uh, gizzard, gizzard, fried gizzard, fried gizzard, and some vegetables on the side. Uh -huh. That comes with some gravy, yeah. also because the food is really dry, so the gravy is going to give it. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the wastage. You guys, you come on. Them. We didn't have a place to put them back. So wait, uh, this is half a beetroot, and this I is half see a pepper right beetroot here. only used as a garnish here. Half Where a pepper here. Half an onion here. Because they didn't have a place to put it <laughs> No, yeah, okay, well, that makes sense. But there are so many plates. Okay, thank you so much, David. Please stand back. We're gonna taste your food and criticize okay. your trash. Yeah. So, shall we get started, Francis? Is this one healthy? So, am I supposed to squeeze the lemon inside? You can squeeze it on your spoon. Well, um, okay, the consistency is... Very okay. So is it a cold soup? Yeah. No. <laughs> so why did you serve it cold? Mm -hmm. Our meals were out initially, but there was some delay for the guests to arrive. No, I guess we not the last time if you serve them cold. Because they could cold have food, it, cold but it's okay. Cold food that's supposed to be hot. I'm going to take this bit of cook to raw. But I like the taste. Thank you. Because the, the, the feel though, the, the, the feel in the tongue, the big cause, you probably have blended it uh, a bit more. Because soup is better when it's smooth. Yeah? Yeah, I'd also say the consistency didn't quite do it for me, cut it for me. Uh, but the taste is, is really good. 
the ginger was a bit too strong. You had ginger in it? Yes. yes yeah, it was a bit too strong. Um, however, I like the idea. I like the creativity. Um, I like the blend of flavors. Uh, so so it's, a, it's a good attempt. Yeah. I have nothing to say about your soup, but... Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just found That's it so... Me. It tasted like porridge, almost. Like, it was so thick. I, I still have bits in my mouth. Yeah, but flavor-wise, it's good. It's, it has a, like a bit of an Asian feel. And I think with the lemon, it would be a very nice sort of concentration of the yeah. soup. Maybe next time, strain it. And then you can use the the collection of the straining or whatever into incorporating something in into your meal. Yeah. It could have been a puree or something else. Hey, Faisal, what did you think of the beetroot? Uh, it was raw, but I like it as a refreshing factor. It gives it a bit of more crunch, even okay. though it's already so coarse and Green. flour-like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's good. I like the idea behind it. Guys. Yeah. Like they, yeah. You had an idea that you were working with, so that's, that's good. So here we have the millet ugali. Is this cooked? Yes, it's cooked. Man, it's lumpy. Uh, I think I'm gonna jump that because it has flour inside. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Give it, it has a uh, raw flour inside. <laughs> I'm gonna jump that. Yeah? Mm, Let me see your, your vegetables. Mm, mm, mm. Just the way I like them. Huh? But I like the taste. But the taste is, is really good. However, I like the idea. I like the creativity. Um, I like the blend of flavors. Uh, so so it's, a, it's a good attempt. Yeah. Yes, it's not fully cooked. Mm -hmm. But the option mm -hmm. of milk in it... Mm -hmm. is, is not too, I like it. Thank you. <laughs> For my team members, I think uh, they are a little bit great. They've taught me a lot. Since uh, at least they have experience in this business and uh, they've uh, proved to me that teamwork can really work. And then also moving to other things like teamwork, um, who was the leader? Who was your group leader? She is. Yeah? I think you did a good job. Yeah? Esther, who was the weakest in the team? I didn't notice. Yes, because there was a lot of delegation and people took on their duties. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. I'm so impressed by it. Yeah, very impressed. Oh, they work together. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Good and, and Esther gives them a lot of power. Like, hey guys, you can do this. She's, she's a, a great leader. leader. She's a, she's a I great see leader. Esther going really far. Yeah. Yeah. And did you notice that? Did, did you notice the small yeah. details? Yeah. Of where she put her serviette yes. under her suit? Yes. yes. I was just yes. like, that, that, yeah. those are the points yeah. you need to look for. Yet, yet she's not really in the, in the industry. And yeah. uh, so she's, she's, she's learned. She's spent well. time to learn and understand. The simple things matter. Yeah. Laughter and what do you have for us here? I have a cucumber bajillas yes. with a fresh brown nut and tomato dip. Uh, basically what we made is a, a chickpea curry. Yes. Uh, spicy little bit okay. to give it an Asian feel. Uh -huh. And then we put some cheddar cheese, some milk to make it creamy. Yeah. And then uh, we topped it up with some uh, beef uh, yeah. patty. Yeah. Spiced, it just, spiced it just a little bit uh, to give it uh, just a slight okay. kick. So I noticed you burnt all your... Oh, it's the Yo, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. This is good. This is good. It's really good. Well done. What do you think, Bill, huh? I can I eat, I, I'm almost eating my place. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's out of the box. Very, mm, out very of the creative. box. You're in a box this? and you threw everything out and... It flew out of the and box. And flew out of it. And, yeah, oh, man. and that's what this show is all about. Whose idea was this? Yeah. The well, the the yeah. Really. Thank you so yeah. much. Fantastic. Well, I like you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Great. But I think their food was too spicy. Their main course. I'm still suffering. Yeah, the shrimp peanuts was a bit mild. The wastage was very minimal because of that. Six. But they have they have a very good okay. approach. Welcome to the judging room. Can we see your starter? Wow. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. What is your main course? Yeah. Please Sorted. give us your trash as well. Okay. And this is what did you? What was the term you <laughs> used for this? Um, <laughs> uh, you said flambe in dosa. No. <laughs> Francis. <laughs> Don't be 
be too well, much. Well, you see that one, then I was like, no, 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 no. So you try some very, very nice gravy. just. So this is your millet balls. Mm, it's actually very, very nice. nice. I like it. Something I like the idea of deep frying wow. the millet. That's creative. I would love to taste Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. All the best. Thank you. It had low seasoning. Yes, they really need to work on their mm, seasoning. Because I didn't enjoy it at really all. The beetroot for me felt like boiled, boiled beetroot and, and then just there. chopped up and then placed at the base mm. for the salad. It kind of feels sad, but uh, okay, although we had some teamwork, uh, we messed up around here and there, but I believe the next show we're going to win. Uh, do we have any ratings? For them, I think I would give group two. Group two is my favorite. No, group I would one. give group two to second position. Yes. Group three, third position, and Kill group me. one, first position. So, as you know, in the animal kingdom, you either get, you either eat or you get eaten. Hassanath, Collins, and Lafton. You guys had so much wastage on your food. Your workstation was dirty. Um, you presented late. Can you kindly tell me why this, why all this took place? I mean, if you already knew how much time you had, you should have been able to factor in that time in preparing your food. You're also very confused. I could see both all of you having this sort of conflict amongst each other. Collins was replating. You were saying not replating. Somebody washed dishes. Where's the synergy? The judges were, you know, a little bit fair, but uh, I took the criticisms, you know, positively because. As in some, in some, at some point they were, they were kind of, uh, oh, okay, leaning towards, you know, you know, like it's like they were favoring the other group, but uh, I sort of, you know, agreed with them to some point. Hasana? Um, no, I didn't expect that. Though there was a bit of discord at some point. I think um, adrenaline seems to take over sometimes, and then you lose your mind. You can't really think straight. <laughs> Um, so you argue a little with your teammates uh, about some things you want to do on your on your menu, but um, I didn't expect us to perform so badly. I think when the adrenaline was pumping, I lost my way a little, and then again, it was just the idea of flying. We kept changing what we were making, and then maybe we were doing too much or overthinking it, and then it ended up just. So that tells me you should be more. It came crashing down from there. Yeah. You need to work with the pressure. Yes. Know how to. You should know how to control yourself when you get into pressure. Okay. And lastly, Lafton, kindly tell us. Uh, I think on my part, uh, I found myself doing a, a couple of things. So Pardon? I found myself doing a couple of things. Uh -huh. So next time, I think I will try to. Um, just work on one thing as part of the group. As part of the group leader. Yeah. You guys also had a, a great deal of waste. You had half a beetroot inside your trash. Half an onion, a whole denier. I mean, and a pepper. What was that for? Why are you throwing away so much food? There was a lot of running. There was a lot of um, helter scatter. You know, the people were busy trying to get their food right on time. Um, it was really challenging. It was hot in the kitchen. Yeah. Why was your gizzard raw? I mean, that's the only question I have. I mean, some of you should already know how meat cooks, so it takes time. It's not sashimi. So yeah, I mean, I would like to get an explanation out of this. I'm just sure. As to why they tried to assassinate me. To kill Francis. We had an issue with the gas, so we only had one bar to use. And before he could get back not using gas, some of the time, time was out. Yeah. Why did you have two portions of your starter? That's a lot of food already. When you both knew you were doing one portion of each item, right? Yes. But people do make mistakes and they learn from us. They do. But for someone who's doing something every day, it's not what mistakes are not always done. So as much as all of you have like made mistakes and learned from all of them, you know at least one of you has to be the loser in all of this. So with that, um, can group two please step forward? In this episode, you guys were the last one. From the beginning to the end, you had quite a number of mistakes, a lot of wastage, your time was not there, all of you were out of synergy. 
for a team to work, everybody has to be able to know what they need to do. It's like trying to make a watch and all of the cogs want to run, run in one direction. The watch will not run. The second to last group, which I do not think second is any consolation, it's still the second to the last, is group three. Please step forward. Why are you smiling? Stop smiling. Because you are second last. That's still losing. Esther and Ken, you are the first loser. <laughs> 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 that was expected. That was expected because we were grouped into into teams. Um, so I knew, of course, the ranking was gonna come in. And when we won, I was I was I was excited. I was definitely happy. Yes. Uh, I would say yes. It was a fair judgment. The reason why I did not win was maybe they thought we were not up to par with what they expected. Okay. So can we all like so take an example? The first group. Please take an, a paper out of their books because if you notice they were very on time. Their station was clean at the end of it all. They were together, their synergy was perfect. That is what you need. Teamwork. Okay? For anything to work well you need to have? Yeah, exactly. Uh well, I'm a bit surprised Team 1-1, one one, they had Row Gali. <laughs> but, uh, well, I think we were a bit clumsy in our startup, that's why probably we didn't win. But all the, we'll try and put more effort next time and try and kick them up. Yeah, I expected there to be ranking since it's a competition. So, yeah, having, you know, Having you know ourselves being ranked, you know, yeah, I expected it, and uh, our team didn't really emerge as the winners, but uh, we did our best. And it just means that the battle is on. Tune in next week as we continue the journey to consume smart food that are good for you, good for the planet, and good for the farmer. Only on Smart Food Show. See you next time. Bye.